Okay, now in the Harvey Norman Lounge on Pet Corner today, vet Alex Melrose is back, and we are looking at kidney disease in our dogs and our cats. Morning, Alex. Good morning. May I say you're looking beautiful? Thank you very much. Do you want something? Oh, I was just going to, you know, give you a, a genuine compliment. Oh, that's nice. But I, I'm worried now because you think there's something behind it. No, I don't. See, I'm just not used to genuine compliments around here. Well, Mike Potu. Yeah. 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 That makes Take sense. Take no, This is how you do it. That makes sense. And, you know, Mike's looking pretty casual compared to you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. You can stay. Yeah. Um, let's talk about kidney disease. Cool. Is it a common problem? Very common. Not so common in dogs. Dogs, it'll tend to be more of an acute problem where they've been poisoned accidentally. They've Maybe they've eaten a whole lot of grapes, raisins gotten into some uh, antifreeze on the on the concrete or something. Yeah. Cats, it'll be more of an acute re renal problem and it's very common in cats. Is it common in older cats? Uh, yeah, it, it's common as they age. So, um, sorry, chronic problem in cats. So it's, it's common as they age and um, often that leads us down the path of people assuming that the changes that they're noticing because of the kidney disease are just because of ageing. Cats get old. Right? Yeah, and often it's not. Mm. Yeah. So why is it such an issue for pets? Well, particularly with cats, they, they get a lot of challenge to their kidneys. So, you know, they have a lot of um, fighting, a lot of bacteria, because our, our cats are predominantly outdoor cats. Mm. And so they, they, every time they get a wound, those bacteria run through the bloodstream and they, they tend to get filtered um, by the kidneys itself. And so the theory is that that combined with a high protein diet uh, just puts a little too much load on them. So what, what are some of the symptoms then? Well, you can, you can notice uh, often that the condition of the animal is not quite right. Um, typically, they would have lost a little bit of weight at least. Their coat might be a bit dull. Yeah. Um, and usually their thirst will be up, although sometimes that's hard to tell because especially with cats, you don't watch them drink. No. Yeah. No, they drink in secret, don't they? Sneaky yeah, drinkers, exactly. our cats. Exactly. So what, do, I mean, obviously this can happen slowly over time. It's not something yeah. that happens instantly. I mean, yeah. is there any way to notice the changes before they come to that chronic stage? Yeah, yeah. so there, there are. And although it happens slowly, uh, the signs will often appear to dramatically change at some point. And that's because the about 75% of the kidneys have to be wiped out before this, they struggle to function. Okay. So there's a lot of inbuilt sort of... Um, back up kidney tissue there. So the problem will be going along sort of um, under the radar and then suddenly you'll notice a whole lot of change. And as I said, often people just think it's, it's old age, but it's not. And what if you do nothing about it? What happens then? Well, some of them will, will crash out pretty badly. They can dehydrate, they can um, you know, lo lose a lot of strength and get into a lot of problems. So what's really important with these animals is to detect it early. And the, really the only way you can do that is to run blood tests, which we can do yeah. for you. And we can detect it early and then get them onto a really good diet because diet has a massive impact on kidney disease. So what should you be feeding them then? So, well, the, the best way to, to do that, you can make special home diets, but um, there are prescription diets for renal disease in cats and dogs. And most of the data that um, have, has been done in studies around that show that it doubles the lifespan oh, wow. of your pet. No drugs, even just excluding drugs, just by modifying their diet. Um, you'll, you'll double the lifespan of, of your cat. So what if, you, if your pet doesn't have a renal problem, should you still put them on that diet from when they're young? Or? No, 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 it's not so much that. It's, 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 I guess in, in older pets, you know, say over seven or eight, you should at least restrict their protein levels and that will reduce the load on the kidneys a little bit. Um, but other than doing that, you want to just use prescription diets for conditions that have been diagnosed. Otherwise you're getting problems, okay. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So you've got it, how do you treat it? Yeah, well, kid, well, well kidney diet's number one, and then when things get worse, or if things get worse, and they, they usually do, you're just trying to slow the progression down, um, then we reach for, for medication, and we can use um, drugs that control blood pressure, which then control the amount of blood flow to the kidneys. And so we can increase the blood flow to the kidneys to help the remaining tissue work better. You can do things. Yeah, we can do other stuff to stop protein loss. Okay. Um, so the, the, it's treatable. You want to get it early, you want to manage it, and you want to use probably as little drugs as possible. Okay, so if you've got any concerns, go and see your vet. Good advice. Yeah, okay, thank you very much, Alex. Thank you. And thanks to our new sponsor, NRG Plus Pet Supplements, keeping our pets natural. And now to our pet of the week, congratulations to Eddie, who was pretty desperate to get back in the pool for summer. Oh, that is such a cute picture. Our $50 to spend at petpost.co.nz is on its way to your owner, Spike White. And if you'd like to enter your pet, and it can be any kind of pet whatsoever, just upload a pic on our Facebook page.